it's really good to get a win. Uh, we've been through a tough stretch here over the last uh, three weeks, and uh, any win in this conference is a, is a quality win. And I think it tells you the strength of our league. Uh, Kansas is 0-9, but they've got a lot of weapons, and, and they find a way to score the basketball. And I think they're extremely well coached as well. And uh, uh, proud of our kids. You know, you never, as a coach, like – relinquishing leads, but, you know, when you're up by 19, they come back early in the second half and tie it. You get up by 10 again, you blow the 10-point lead. It would be awful easy for some kids to just say, you know, it didn't go in our way. But we found a way to win the ball game, made some plays, and uh, I, I don't like relinquishing leads or turning the ball over that many times, but – uh, I appreciate that our kids uh, hung in there and found a way to win the game. Coach, what problems was Washington giving you? She had finished 26 points, and then, you know, the, the last, uh, her last possession, she had two, two chances to hit a three and tie it, but you got lucky there a little bit. No, we did. I mean, you, you cannot give them four shots, and that was with a three-point lead, yeah. correct? You just can't give them four shots on that. And uh, uh, – the problems that she gives you is she's got a lot of dimensions to her game. And what I mean by that, she could score off the dribble and then she could get in the middle of the lane and she's got a little floater and she's got a step back three, uh, which there's not a lot of kids that are that good at getting into somebody, popping back and shooting the three. So uh, she's a tough guard because she's got uh, ways, different ways to score, and then she gets to the free throw line, and she's an excellent free throw shooter as well, so you can't foul her. But, uh, you know, 26 points in 23 minutes is a, is a pretty good performance. And I thought we had a hand in her face a lot too. I thought she hit some, some difficult shots. There weren't a lot of just open, open looks that she had. And uh, – we tried to go zone for a while, and then they, they put the O'Neal kid in that specializes shooting threes. And, uh, you know, you always worry about Kapatik. She's a, she's a good three shooter, but she struggled from the line tonight. And, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm proud of our kids that they endured losing two big leads and then came back and found a way to win. And you could look at uh, what we shot at the free throw line. If you shoot good free throws and we rebound the basketball, you got a chance to be successful. And uh, we out-rebounded them uh, 46 to 31. And I think you'll think, see that three of those rebounds came real late uh, where we didn't block out on the last possession. But uh, do what we did at the free throw line was the, was the difference in the ball game. And uh, um, had three kids step up and, and have big ball games. Carly got us off to a great start. Uh, I thought it may have been the best game that Mandy Coleman has played since she's been here. And uh, she has struggled, self-admittedly struggled the last four or five games. And I just told her, I said, hey, you're so important to us that you've got to bring it every night and you've got to play well every night. So, um, you know, proud of, proud of her performance and she needs to continue to be good. You mentioned the free throw numbers. You know, you've, you've had struggles there the past couple of years, and this is probably the best one you've had for like a long time percentage-wise. Just, you know, what, what you are working on practice this week after, after the OU game. Yeah, I took over as free throw coach this week, <laughs> and uh, I told them to make them, and uh, I thought they were very coachable. <laughs> now, our kids have put in extra time. They, they've been coming in the gym for individual shooting sessions, and – our coaches have had them in there, and uh, uh, it paid off tonight. How can you convey to Carly that you know she needs to be the scorer for you because she started off with a quick 13 in the first quarter, didn't score for the second or third, and then she kind of gave you another spark there in the fourth where she fouled out? You know, uh, she's still young. We still forget sometimes that she's a sophomore and that's young in this league. But uh, just got to every day, on an everyday basis, remind her that you've got to seek your shot you got to come off of screens and think shot first, pass second. And that's what we're trying to do, that uh, she has the ability to shoot and make shots, and uh, she's got a pretty shot, and she spends a lot of time on it. But it's just a matter of having the mindset, uh, a scores mentality, and I'm going to seek my shot first and pass second. Uh, coach, the KU coach talked a little bit about how 
the biggest play to him was that Caitlin Lecker offensive rebound, and then she put it back up and got fouled. He said that was the biggest play. What do you think was the biggest play of the game? You know that that was that was definitely a big play. Uh, you know, I'd have to go back and and look at tape on some of it, but uh, you know that I think we had a two point lead then, and. Uh, she missed the two free throws before and stepped up and hit those two free throws. So that was that was a big, big offensive rebound, no doubt. You said you were the free throw coach this week. Were you also the rebounding coach, or was that just a benefit of your size down there? Well, I'll take credit for it all. <laughs> no, uh, you know I'm I'm proud of I'm proud of what our kids did on that. And we traditionally we've been a pretty good rebounding team here and, and done a pretty good job on the board. So it's important for us to get second chance points. And uh, uh, we had 17 of those today. What we got to cut down on the stat sheet is we gave them 21 points of all, off of our turnovers. And we just, we got to get more pop on our passes, make better decisions, see who's open, and uh, just continue to try to help our kids get better in that category. I don't think it's hard to win turning the ball over 24 times. It really is. Thank you all. Carly, you know you, you fell out with about two minutes left. Just how like hard was that for you to have to watch you know that last two minutes just off the bench? Yeah, that was um I was kinda disappointed in myself. And even when I walked over to the bench, coach was like, sometimes you just got to let him go, you know, because um, I, I want to be on the floor so I can help my team. But we pulled it out, so that's all that matters. You score 13 in the first quarter, don't score in the second or third. Then you get seven in the, uh, in the fourth quarter. You just turn it on there at the end. Just What was what were they doing to you in the second third quarters, and how did you just get around it in that last? Um, well, for, I mean, the whole game they were pressuring. And um, at one point they were, like, kind of in a zone. And so – that gave our post the opportunity to score, and they did a really good job with that. So really just reading the defense and um, looking for my shot, but also if I don't have it, then someone else can score. Okay, well, you and Mandy both had uh, 19 points. You guys think you had, obviously had the advantage down low? Uh, yeah. Um, Size-wise, we, we, for the most part, we towered over them until they brought, like, 25 in. She's taller, but, like, we're built a little bit bigger, so we just kind of pounded it in as much as we could. So that's where we took advantage in this game. Kaylee, when Carly started out the first quarter with 13 points, how does that set the tone for the rest of the team? Um, it gets us fired up when anybody's scoring and getting a hot hand. We're just like, here, give the ball. Give it the ball. I don't care. I don't need to score. So uh, it just kind of sets the – gets us really excited just to some get someone a hot hand. So it was fun to watch. Were you a little worried whenever Washington had two chances there at the end to hit a three? And she, and she didn't get them. A little bit. Cause I like, I like left my girl at the post and I flew out of there. I was like, ah, oh, please don't go in. And it didn't go in. And once we finally secured it, it was kind of a take a deep breath, calm down a little bit. Yeah, so, we got lucky on yeah, that. Yeah, big. The team had 24 turnovers. That's a season high. Uh, and OU, you guys had a lot of turnovers too. This is the third straight game with 20 or more. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you guys are turning the ball over so much lately? Um. Honestly, I think it's a focus issue a little bit, but also, you know, coach has been saying, telling us, you know, to be a little more aggressive, and so maybe just in practice, we need to, when we're going aggressive, just make sure we're taking care of the ball, and so that when we get into a game and we're going full speed, that we're used to going full speed, and so I think maybe just a focus issue and just need to practice that fast. Yeah, we're going to go that fast in a game. And teams, I mean, teams are noticing that, so... Um, with us turning the ball over, they're going to pressure more and, and try to hurry us up, and so we will turn it over. So I think that's more of us. We just need to work on um, – we just need to calm down and handle it and look at our options. I thought there were, like, five or six pretty silly ones tonight. Just like you said, not attention to detail, mm -hmm. not, yeah. not being focused. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, know, you take six off that number and, you know, 18, you probably live with and you probably win by – a little bit bigger margin, but so that becomes a important. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you said, it's just kind of a focus issue. I just need to make sure that we get taken care of soon. 
Were you a little worried whenever you jumped out to a big lead at halftime and started coming back? It was kind of like you know deja vu from Saturday because oh you did the same thing. So were you a little worried getting a little tense there in the third quarter? Uh, I wouldn't say we got worried. Um, you know you just have to do what you're taught, lock down on defense as much as you can, and just work as hard as you can, and hopefully it pays out for the best. So I didn't I didn't think we were worried. I knew we had it. So as we keep we keep fighting, we're gonna get it. Stop the four game losing streak. You go back to K State this weekend. Mm -hmm. What do you think is different from your team now than a couple weeks ago after that 20-point loss? Um, I think our effort is more is there way more. Um, and we really are hungry for a win at K-State because we haven't gotten one in a couple years. So, And we they beat us here, so we're really hungry for this win. 28 of 33 from the free throw. Was mm -hmm. there extra emphasis on that, or are you guys just making them today? I think we just knew that we had to step up and hit those. Um, I think that was just a good focus part on our on our part. Last time you made a four-point play. That's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Anybody else? Awesome. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Okay. So we'll ride out with